welcome back to my channel. So today I have another plant tour for you guys. Today I'm gonna to take you out on my back porch and show you how my little outdoor jungle is coming along. So this year I didn't do any yard tours because honestly, I was slacked off. I've been just basically weeding my flower beds, keeping them in good condition, but I haven't been planting anything new and I certainly haven't been like into it as much. Um, I am still missing Macy and it's still hard, but for some reason the house plants make me feel better than the outdoor plants do. So I wanted to surround myself with them. So I am gonna turn the camera around and show you my back porch. These are all house plants, so they're all gonna come in for the winter. So we'll start over here because this is what you see first when you're coming up. Okay, so I'm gonna start over here and that is my bird of paradise. This guy loves being out here. Um, this side of the house, this is a south, southeast type exposure, but I do have a roof over me, so it gets filtered sun, and he is loving this. Above him, I've got a golden pothos, and this guy has grown so much. I looped it back up over the top, Kind of want to see how it'll trail around. And this one I just moved out here recently. This is my curly spider plant. I had nowhere else to put it in the house, so I figured let's bring it out and see with the humidity and stuff. It'll probably help it make it a little happier. Over here I've got some Spanish moss, and I just hose that guy down once a week. So in here I've actually got two of these guys here, and it's hard because they've all filled in, so you can't really see the planters or anything anymore but I've used wooden crates to kind of elevate things. Um, some of the planters have legs, and it's a mixture of terracotta and white. But I've got these guys here. Now, they've recently been reclassified, but for the purpose of this video, I'm just gonna call them a philodendron celloum or a philodendron hope because that's what they're labeled as if you buy them at like Home Depot or Lowe's. Um, and I've got two of those there. Those guys are ones that I pull in. I, do, I put them in the basement for um, the cold part of the year in front of the window and they seem to do really well. I just pull back on watering, but you can see how big these leaves have gotten here. Like that is my hand for reference. So that's at the bottom of the leaf. It goes all the way up to the top. So these guys are loving it out here in the sun. Then tucked in here, I have the philodendron rojo, rojo congo, I think. Um, this one likes a little less sun, so it's closer to the back of the house. And that guy's doing really good out here, too. I think he's put on maybe two or three new leaves. And then in here is that caladium. And you can see I've had to stake it up because they get so tall, they start to flop over. So this started out as a bulb that I picked up from Walmart. And I am so happy with how this is done. So this is just one of the leaves, for instance. And you can see with my hand, this guy is massive. And then he's got a bunch over here that are probably leaning towards sun a little bit more. This guy's more of a shade plant, so I mean, I wouldn't put him in full sun. And then tucked in there, I've just got two spider plants and a bird's nest fern. I found they're a lot less picky than the ferns with the smaller leaves. They can be treated more like a regular house plant and they seem to be fine. So behind me, I have the Xanadu, the Philodendron Xanadu, and you can see it's pulled back. This one seems to be doing okay in that sec situation. It gets still bright filtered light, but not as much as the cacti at the front. More Spanish moss, and then two Tillandsias I just put on here. This uh, shelf I built at a Home Depot workshop, and I love it so much. I want one for inside, but I have to make a new one because this one's measurements are just a little off, but I thought it'd be fun when I bring the cacti down to the basement for the winter to kind of have like a little shelf on the wall with air plants in that same section. Right now it felt like overkill, but I think that once fall rolls around, it'll feel pretty good. So that is my dogtail cactus. That one also is one that needs a little less sun. You can see it's got some damage on it from when I first put it out here. I put it too close to the edge and it rebelled. But it's doing good now. It's put on new growth. 
Um, let me see, up here is where I can show you. So it puts on little guys like that, just coming out of each end. And overall, really good. Now this next one is really exciting, and I'm so glad that I caught it in bloom. So this is my Mandevilla, and I am going to put a picture in here because it's kind of unbelievable how far this guy has come. This was a Walmart rescue plant for a dollar and change, I believe. And it came in... Ooh, you guys, look at... I'm going to... For a second. The uh, garter snake that lives in my flower bed there is sunning himself. When I was weeding it last weekend, I found his, um, his snake skin that he had shed. So... Okay. Back to the Mandevilla now. He came in one of those little cups... I don't know, maybe like a three inch cup pot from Walmart. And this is what he's grown to. I've had him now, I think two or three years. So, and I built this little vine or trellis for him. So basically what I did, I just turned, I turned a tomato cage upside down, spray painted it, and then just zip tied it together at the top. And then I just went around and kind of affixed the vines to it the best I could. And then over here, I have all my cacti, and these guys are at the front, so they will get the nearly direct sun with a little bit of, you know, a little bit of overhang. So they seem to be really enjoying it. I'm going to start down here, and this is the jade I got from Cuttings, and this guy is doing really great. That's the variegated one I just got. The Hoya Cretisei that came from Cuttings, and it's put on some growth. It's not amazing, but... You know, I'll take what I can get. This is a string of bananas. Now over here I have a ton of euphorbia, it seems. So I've got the rubra trigona, which I think they call African milk tree, maybe? I think um, that's this guy here with all the neat leaves coming out of him. And this one here I love. This is the zigzag one. And he's just got such a neat shape to him and the color on his, I don't know, arms, I guess you call them? I don't know, whatever. I like the color on him. This guy is a Euphorbia, I think, Anoplia, or a Tanzanian zipper plant, I believe he's called. Um, and he's a little worse for wear. You can see he's kind of leggy in there because I had him inside originally and it just wasn't enough direct sun. So since he's come out here, you can see the top is a lot healthier growth. And he's actually putting out a little guy there and a little guy over in there. Then this one I don't have a name for. This guy I picked up Home Depot or Lowe's and it was just that one on the left. This guy, just that one to start. So that's new growth and I'm happy for that. That is the other piece of that Peruvian apple cactus and right now I have the good side facing. I'm going to give it a turn just to show you. Um, and wow, I'm looking at this guy now as I'm turning him. He seems like, I don't know, four inches or so taller than when I got him. I don't, can't be, but I mean, I guess it could be. So this is how he came broken and that cut there I dusted with cinnamon in hopes that I would be able to save it. And so far it looks okay. Now those are those two little guys that I got from the neighbor for free. That guy was a rescue um, from Lowe's. I am so hoping that he'll put out another leaf. He wasn't doing great inside, so I brought him out. And I'm just hoping. That one there is a Mammalaria. That one bloomed for me this spring, so that was really exciting. Or early, early summer, late spring. That's another Opunti. I believe they call that the Mexican tree cactus, that specific one. That's from Home Depot. And that guy was a pain to repot. But I got him done and I really enjoy him in that. So he'll be in that for a while. That is my pregnant onion. That one I don't know the name of. He looks like a brain though, so that's why I thought he was neat. That one's an Opuntia. And I believe they call it Joseph's Coat because it's got the different colors on it. And then some rosemary. I had a dog biscuit recipe that I needed some rosemary for. So I went ahead and bought one of the live plants instead of getting just like a cutting. So I figured I'd put it on the porch and if I want it during the season I can use it. 
so I hope you guys enjoyed seeing what plants I have going on on the back porch, how everything is coming along. Um, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.